So I'm on a roll today and I'm planning to film about three videos. So if you see me in the same hair and same outfit, it's because I filmed them all in one go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to review one of my newest bags, the Louis Vuitton Noegian in the, in the vintage model. So for those of you who have been following my channel, um, you guys will know that I unboxed this, I think during the month of February. And now it's a month of May and I just sold this uh, last night within the same day of listing it um, on Poshmark. So just to give you a little bit of background, um, I did order this on eBay off of a trusted Japanese uh, consignment seller. I got it um, in the mail pretty quickly and then um, I decided to use this as kind of like a project bag. So I bought the cleaning products to clean the canvas, the leather, um, and it's really in a good condition for how much I paid for it. And I was really excited to use this bag. Um, I did use it for a while after I got it. So I'm just giving you a little tour of the bag. You can see the bottom of the fichetta is actually in a really good condition. Um, there are some watermarks. Um, this bag is about 34 years old. Um, it was made in 1987. So of course there's some wear and tear on the vachetta but you know all in all this bag is actually in a really good condition for how old it is and for how much i paid for it um, when i bought it i ended up paying about four hundred dollars um, and then i of course invested in the cleaning products and then i also have an organizer in the middle that's why you can see that there's a little bit of structure it doesn't sag completely like some of the other ones that you probably saw on ebay or other uh reseller websites and i have also cleaned the brass so it's not completely tarnished and i did all that work so that i could use this bag for a long time and while i love the aesthetic of the bag this bag uh, did not work out for me so i ended up selling it um, i'm now actually gathering some funds together so i can buy a different bag all just completely different um, so I just sold my uh, Nano Speedy and this just sold as well. So I will make a separate video about what bag I'm considering next. Anyway, that's the reason why I decided to sell this bag. Um, I know that this bag is now in high demand. I think with the Louis Vuitton's just continuous increase in prices and the quality issues and all, I think there's more and more demand for the vintage bags. And I think that this just screams like the typical Louis Vuitton vintage. And a lot of people are now searching for this bag in the pre-loved websites. So I know it's in high demand. So before you guys uh, go and buy this, if you're considering purchasing this bag, I hope you guys find this video helpful. I'll kind of go through the pros and cons that I found while I was using this bag. Uh, so this will be helpful for you if you're also considering buying this bag. So first things first, I will go through the positives. So I'll go through um, some of the pros that I've noticed while, uh, while I was using this bag. I really like the structure of the bag. Um, I know there's not a whole lot inside the bag, but with the organizer and the kind of rather stiff base, it sits on surfaces really, really well. So without the organizer, maybe it'll lose a little bit of structure, but because it has a firm base, um, it sits on surfaces really well. You know how some bags you put it down and it just completely just collapses and becomes like a really hot mess? Um, this is not one of them. So I really think that's one of the pros. The second pro I can think of is that the straps are adjustable. There are, I think, five holes on each side of the strap. So you can kind of adjust the strap length to really fit against your body. Mine is on the second to last, yes, second to last hole here, but if you're a bit shorter than me, I'm 5'7", um, you can definitely adjust the straps a little bit more to be a little bit shorter on you, so this bag can fit comfortably against your body. The third pro I can think of is how spacious this bag is. Um, it really can fit uh, almost everything that you will want to carry for uh, your day-to-day, -day, including maybe um, like a file folder, iPad, all of those things in here. So it's very, very spacious bag. 
And another pro for me at least is that it is kind of like an open style if you think about it, right? Because no one probably uses this bag completely closed like this. I mean, you certainly have an option to close it out, but with the strap um, tied how it's tied, like this here, um, you have a really open, easy access for me. And for me, a shoulder bag that um, has easy access so I can find my items really quickly, that is a huge pro. And then the last pro I can think of is the quality of the canvas. Now, this will only apply to uh, the old Louis Vuitton canvases. The newer models of this bag, is going they're going to have the pliable, very squishy canvas that Louis Vuitton does now. Um, I think they changed the formula, if I remember, about three years back, because I have my Neverfull from back in 2018, and shortly after I bought the bag, um, they decided to kind of change how they make the canvas and they are no longer doing the old canvas which used to be stiffer um thicker and better quality in my opinion so if you decide to go for the vintage model you're still going to get that really thick good quality canvas with your bag which means your bag is just going to last you a lifetime so i really really like that uh, maybe not just about this bag but just with uh, the older model uh, vintage louis vuitton pieces so now with that said, I'm going to go through some of the cons. Now, both pros and cons that they are both from just my perspective, uh, some of the things I would consider as a pro or a con, you may not agree with me whatsoever, but I'm just trying to give you a new perspective um, from having used this bag quite a bit um, since I bought it so that you can make the right decision for yourself when you decide to buy this bag. So for me, the biggest con is that I don't like how tall this is. So what I mean by that is that I like, or I thought I liked the bucket style bags, okay? And when I'm wearing this on my shoulder and I go to look for my items, it's so deep, it takes me forever to kind of maneuver and get the items out. And it's really, really difficult. And in hindsight, I'm thinking maybe I should have bought the Petite Noi, which is a lot shorter, and maybe that style would have worked better for me. But then again, that's just my personal opinion. Um, I know a lot of people love the Noi GM for exactly what it is, but that's the biggest con for me. I do not like how tall this bag is, okay? And then another con, for me, like I said, I thought I would really like the bucket style bag, but I honestly think the opening is very, very fussy. Uh, I'm much more of an open tote like the one I have, the Neverfull MM, or like a zip top, or like even a lock closure like the Push and Matisse. But this guy, um, you kind of have to pull the string to open the bag up and even then it takes a few you know uh, adjustments for you to have it more open and if you want to close it you pull the string and then you have to you know reshape the bag to really close it out and um, if you don't have it tied like I do right here I just have a double loop so I can just slide it open or slide it closed um, you're stuck with the strap where you have to tie the strap continuously and that's even more annoying. So the closure of the bag, I'm not a huge fan of. So I don't even, so I don't really think that bucket bag is a right style for me. Now, I do think the look of the bag is really gorgeous. But keep in mind the bucket bag style of a closure may also bother you as well. Also, another con that I can think of, and this is for me, I don't really enjoy bulky bags. Since this bag basically has no structure, I decided to put in the organizer, and that helps with um, me being able to find the items a lot quicker, but with that, it also means the bag is quite bulky, and it doesn't squish down um, as easily, and when it sits against your body, because it's a shoulder bag, you can kind of tell that it really is bulky against your body. So that's one thing I don't like. 
um, but then again that might be just for me and if you don't mind it and if you can wear the shoulder bag as is and don't mind a little bit of bulkiness towards the bottom maybe this is not a con for you but it's a con for me um, you in terms of using this bag every day and then the last con I can think of, it really applies to only vintage models. Just be on the lookout when you decide to buy one off of pre-loved markets. Mine came with a very, very strong vintage bag smell. Now most of it has gone away because it's been out in open air for several months now. Um, I also did put some um, fabric softener with uh, some scent in it. I think that helped too. And cleaning as well. So. Um, it can come with uh, some of the strong vintage back kind of smell. Some people love it. Some people, um, like me, who's pregnant and your sense of smell is just is about 100 times more intense than before, um, can't stand it. So just keep that in mind. And a lot of the vintage bags you will find, um, you will need to do some cleaning, okay? And um, if you're buying this as a project bag, that's great. There are a lot of videos that people have already made about how you should clean this bag. Go watch those. Um, all I want to say is that don't be afraid to put the leather conditioner on the Vachetta before you start cleaning because once you put the water wipes, it's going to dry out your Vachetta leather immediately. So. All I recommend is that you can, of course, clean the canvas with wet wipes. However, do not clean the vachetta without putting leather conditioner on, like a lot of it first. That can darken your vachetta a little bit, but otherwise it's going to start to crack and it won't be pretty. So anyway, I got into a little bit of a tangent about cleaning this bag. Um, yeah, so those are the pros and cons about this bag. Um, I will be shipping this off probably tomorrow to the new owner and using the funds to buy something else that'll fit my new lifestyle a little bit more. Um, hopefully this was helpful for you. I will be happy to answer any of the questions that you guys might have. So if you have any questions about this bag specifically, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments. And if you have any questions about how I clean this bag, uh, feel free to leave those questions uh, down below in the comment section as well. So hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about the video and let me know what you guys think about this bag, whether you love it or you decide to also part ways with it or if you're not sure like me. Let me know about your thoughts in the comment section as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.